Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video. We got another car culture video. This is the Car Culture Team Transport uh, 2018. Uh, this is wave two, uh, which there are, well, there are technically four cars in this wave, even though this one was found in wave one. And these are the three new ones. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. They've been featured on other channels, but I did want to make my uh, car culture playlist complete. We definitely had to go over these. Um, so this is the 1972 Plymouth Cuda Funny Car with Retro Rig. Of course, this is Snake, so we're going to see some Snake and, of course, Mongoose action. Um, classic drag race cars and uh, classic Hot Wheels. Harkens back to classic Hot Wheels, um, old, even red lines. So let's go ahead and open it up. These are very, very cool. I'm excited to have them. Um, so car art on the front, of course, is unique to the vehicle. And then the rear car art is uh, generic to all vehicles. All right, so let's just take a look at this real quick here. We'll take a peek. All right, so this is the uh, Plymouth Cuda Funny Car and Retro Rig. So this casting itself Take the rig aside for a moment. This was originally seen in the Drag Strip Demon series, this version of it. And um, it looks just fantastic. It's awesome. It opens up like a drag car should, right? Like a funny car should. It's got a little stand, so you can go ahead and have it open like that. Very, very cool. Full deco. You get taillights, you get uh, the front detail. Uh, you get great looking tampos, um, just looks good. So this is in 2009 Drag Strip Demons. There was actually four different variations of it in 2009. There was uh, one in 2010, and then in 2012 there was an RLC Snake and Mongoose set. I think it was Snake and Mongoose uh, where these cars were also featured. So here is that, and then the Retro Rig in yellow. So just a quick overview of this. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the base is metal. Okay. Uh, base is metal. The cab is metal. The rear part here is all plastic. Uh, but you do still get a lot of metal in this casting. The front grille is also plastic. Lots of good detail on it. So these are also full deco. Uh, the car fits on the back quite nicely and looks just awesome on there. So Great job, Hot Wheels, on that. Um, let's take a look at Mongoose. Mongoose is the Plymouth Duster funny car. Um, so we got the Plymouth Duster and the Plymouth Cuda funny car, and I'm guessing they're both uh, they're very close to the same. Uh, but here is this thing. So it's technically number five in the series. Again, the back of the car is the same. Quick look at the front car art. There you go. So the truck is the same, but it's got different rims. We'll take a look at that in a second. We're going to get these open. So these are actually, they haven't been easy to find in my area. I hope they eventually get as easy to find as the first wave of Team Transport was. Because those ended up being all over the place. Um, so that would be cool. And a quick look, look at the rig actually first on this one. So just in comparison, it's the same thing, same one, just different wheels. That's all you get is different wheels. Other than that, and the graphics, of course, are, are different. So, so there's a quick look at those. And then the car itself, here it is. Of course, this opens as well. This one doesn't open as easy, though. It's like the back almost gets stuck on the tire back here. Uh, I don't want to force it open, and I'm not going to. But there's a look at the front of the car, so it is quite a bit different. You do get full deco, though, with wheelie bars back there and the base. Oh, on that one, too. I'm guessing these share a base. Yep, they definitely do. Their bases are identical. Um, so, And they basically have an identical casting history. So uh, this one, of course, was... 2009 drag strip demons this one was three different variations there two different variations in 2010 and that 2012 rlc piece and that's how many there are of these so very cool looking cars let's go ahead and just reverse them there's ketchup and mustard 
mustard and ketchup. But I think they look really cool. They're, it's definitely a cool set. It was cool to include these in Team Transport. Uh, Team Transport is going to continue on um, next year, 2019, I think. So we'll see some different uh, trucks and car combinations. Uh, let me know what you think about these. I mean, it's cool. The trucks are cool, but the cars are really what I'm after. I'm not after collecting a bunch of these rigs. They are neat. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're definitely cool. And, you know, we've got different ones. This is a different tooling than we saw in the first wave of these team transports. And so is the next one we're going to look at. Um, but I don't want to collect a ton of these. They're going to take up a lot of space. The cars, though, are awesome. So that's all I got to say about that real quick. And then lastly, number six, and the one that I still haven't found in the store. This one is actually loaned to me from Jeremy Bolter. I will eventually replace it um, if I can find one, hopefully. Uh, but here it is, the Momo Porsche 962 with the Fleet Flyer. Um, we're gonna open it up. Kind of neat. The other thing I'm not a huge fan of is enclosed trailer castings because you can't, I mean, if you store the car loose, um, you can't really put it in the truck because you can't see the car. But that's just my opinion. But here it is. Let's go ahead and pull the car out. And then it should have a little plastic piece in there. Yeah, in the car. All right, so this casting itself, I do like it quite a bit. I like this Porsche casting. I think it's awesome. This is the only the second release of it. So, but it was released twice this year. It's in the uh, Circuit Legends 2018 Circuit Legends, but I have yet to do a video on, which I will do a video on those uh, soon here. Um, so it's on the Circuit Legends, and it's in uh, debuted in the 2017 Car Culture Race Day series. Uh, this is probably the best version of it, though. Is Momo. Porsche. And when they originally leaked uh, pictures of the Team Transport set, this was the one uh, that I was most excited about, for sure, was this one. So there's that, and then let's take a look at the truck. So here's the truck. The box is all plastic. The cab and the base are metal. There's a look at the front. So of course it gets full deco. There's a look at the back. Closes. Of course, the door is plastic here. Base part's metal. And there's the wheels and tires you get on it. It looks pretty good. It's pretty cool, but again, like I said, I'm not after collecting a bunch of trucks. A bunch of giant trucks. They just take up too much space, in my opinion. But that is just my opinion. So, But this pair does look really good together. They definitely do. I think it looks great. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So what do you guys think of Team Transport? Because you're paying... You know, money-wise, you are paying a lot for the trucks. They are just over double the price of a standard car culture car this year, which has been five fifty dollars a piece. These, I believe, are $11.99. Uh, I think they are. Maybe even $13.99. But uh, there they are. So that's going to be your second wave of team transport. So let me know what you guys think about these in the comments down below. Thank you guys again very much for watching. All that good stuff. Liking, commenting, subscribing, and have a great day.